At the Locust Trace Agri-Science Center, ag teacher Fallon Jackson and co-op facilitator Nikki Jones led these horses to their newly renovated pastures for grazing, which didn't look like this a year ago. During COVID and no students or horses around, Jackson and Jones decided it was time to evaluate and renovate their paddocks because they were thin on forages for horses. And so they wanted to take advantage of that situation and see if they could make some improvements on their horse pastures. And so we That's we when they contacted Crystal Lay of UK's Horse Pasture Evaluation pasture. Program. But we saw it as a really great opportunity to completely start over with these horse pastures. So after some discussion, we decided that the best course of action would be to actually kill out all four pastures um, with glyphosate and start over. They started over with a novel endophyte tall fescue variety, Lacefield Max Q2, which was developed at the University of Kentucky and donated by Pennington Seed. So far, Jackson and Jones are pleased with their newly renovated paddocks. Um, so I like the fact that I can look out and I can see the horses that we have. They're on good grass. They're getting what they need and I don't have to worry about um, body condition scores going down because the forage that they're eating isn't good enough. Right. There will be a total of nine horses in these paddocks and the horses will remain here until next spring when school is out. Nikki Jones also sees a teachable moment for students about rotating pastures. I think it'll be a good opportunity to teach the kids the importance of rotation and not overgrazing and even how what you do in the wintertime is going to affect how things happen in the spring. Even though they're going to have high grazing pressure, by having good management um, and also um, using, utilizing a dry lot and also feeding some hay in stalls, then they should still be able to maintain it reasonably well. The four paddocks combined are a total of seven acres, with about two acres per paddock. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.